There we go, we're back. <laughs> but uh, before I even cut that end off, I taped it back on there and uh, made my alignment holes, okay? Then I just chuck these things up in the drill, put a little bit of a bevel on them. Okay, then I drill my holes. The holes are already in the wood, I just drilled them into the fiber of the glass. Okay. Then I put this piece on here, okay? And uh, marked my wood, trimmed it off. Okay. Follow me. Now, I could come in here. Now I can come in here and mark. Well, actually, now I'm ready to glue this piece on my wing. Okay. Now I can glue this on my wing. See, bam, right there. Just like so. So let's come on over here. Mix up some epoxy. Put a mark up. And that's my glue side. Okay. So I got some epoxy cut. Yeah. If you, you know, squirt now, especially if you squirt out a bunch of epoxy. You squirt it, you set it down, and you look at your epoxy level and try and, instead of trying to judge from your mix. When you mix it up a bunch anyway, that way, you get about the same amount. A little bit of cotton flock in there. Make that epoxy stay where you put it. You don't want to get it too thick though. Because if you get it too thick, it won't soak into your wood. You won't get a real good bond. Okay. Up, up. Where we need to put it right here. As soon as I get this glued, I want to show you how he cut his foam. He's got a little bit of washout in it. I think it's cool he's got all this stuff made for this kid. It's going to make it, even though it's a, it's just a basic rough kit. You know, you got to be kind of half scratch builder to attempt something like this. Uh, and in fact, I. I'd almost bet you money there's a bunch of these things unfinished out there in the world somewhere. I was looking at the pictures and whoo! <laughs> there's just not a lot of illustration there. Oh, give this a quick sand. No. Sand and block. Gotta have a big old Santa block, people. Okay. Line up this front right where I trimmed it. Should be just beautiful. Take me some tape. Yeah, John seen this big old cougar, man, and he was happy. <laughs> He's getting too old to see them little ones. 
And this is the, you know, he's got so much of it done. Really, it kind of made it make it easier. For someone like me, anyway. Well, I don't have this thing painted. I don't put it, it's going to be built in two weeks. You guys ain't never seen that done, just stick around. We're going to be glassing in here in a couple days. The wings are going to be done, complete, glassed. Okay, well that's setting up. I want to show you how he did these wings. Okay, now, come on here. Look along the back, you can tell he's on the center there. The center line was there, he put up his rib on the center, but he raised this back one just a frickle. Okay, that's going to give that wing a little bit of a twist, which is means washout. Okay, now this front theoretically, if this dog tooth thing wasn't here, it would be center to center. Okay, but since he's got this dog tooth thing here. He had to compensate for that by bringing this template down a little bit. See, this one's on the center. This one's down a quarter inch. And he's on the center. See what he comes out with. And see, this is actually a two-piece cut. See, that's a section. And this is a section. Okay, after he got them cut, he glued them together and sheeted them. And that's flat across the top. But it's got that dog tooth there in the bottom. Then we just got raw foam there now. See right there. So what I did, I did the same trick I did on my bomber. Rudder, see? Remember that, my stab? After I had glued my leading edge on it, took my plane and got it where I wanted it. I cut eighth inch off of there. Bam. It put me a piece. I cut it all the way down to here. Put my piece of uh, light light in there. And get a really nice finished edge on there and on the bottom there too. See, it's a really nice finished edge. And by the time we glue this on there, well, this one goes on that other. So when I glue that one on there, it'll be real nice. But I think I'm going to take it a step further and go ahead and put me some resin on this piece even before I glass the wing then I'm going to glue this on there that way this will already be finished I'll have a nice clean crisp line there then I'm going to glue this on and do any filling and then glass it you people that have, didn't see my glassing lesson from before you can stay tuned next day or so because I'm going to glass these wings and uh, if you guys ever fought your fiberglassing, you know, with pinholes. I want to show you how to glass again, you new guys. Slides on there nice and tight. But in the next couple movies, I'm going to show you how to do that. While I load these two movies, let that end set up over there. Get me a little lunch. It's one o'clock. And by then, I'll be ready to. Uh, Make my box bars. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on them a little bit. They're pretty simple. <coughs> box bars, pretty simple. And let me tell you, people, a box bar is about the strongest you could ever get on a spar system. You know, because, well, there goes the Bobo timer. You can just keep that, all you gotta do is keep it standing up. And it'll be uh, rock solid. Oh, and this last little bit, see what I did? I'll just come in there and mark that. Right there, leave it long on both sides, top and the bottom. See where I got it long? I'll show you why. Now, I can come in here with a piece of that eighth inch light ply, glue me a piece of the pencil mark, glue me a piece there, glue me a piece there, make it to where this fits in there tight.